Well, I think uh, uh, reading stories is, is often disarming to people, okay? When I was the board chairman at the New England Inns and Resorts Association, uh, you know, I have become very accomplished at running meetings, okay? And so the dynamic of being very efficient, uh, starting meetings on time, having agendas, et cetera, et cetera. But one of the other sidebars was I would uh, read Robert Fulgham's stories uh, to the board. And, you know, and some of the feedback that I got was, what? what is Come on, what is this? And then they would get to the punchline of the stories because they were very human kind of warm stories. And so I think it's part of my teaching methodology of uh, there, are, there are lessons that are out there for others. And so if you had to characterize, you know, who Peter Morgan is and what he's all about, I think it comes to you in this story. One day a man was walking along the beach when he noticed a boy picking something up and gently throwing it into the ocean. Approaching the boy, he asked, what are you doing? The youth replied, throwing starfish back into the ocean. The surf is up and the tide is going out. If I don't throw them back, they'll die. Son, the man said, don't you realize there are miles and miles of beach and hundreds of starfish. You can't make a difference. After listening politely, the boy bent down, picked up another starfish and threw it back into the surf. Then smiling at the man, he said, I made a difference for that one. I think that's a little bit about what I'm all about. You know, reaching out and trying to help starfish or help people understand the dynamics of financial independence and financial literacy so that they may find a better path for themselves. That, that, if that becomes a part of my legacy, that would be a good outcome.